everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing the market. Gap up in the market today. Again, the market has been rallying and if you played it and you've got in perfectly and got out perfectly, you made money. I think it's been a little sloppy to trade to the upside and happen unexpectedly, specifically last week with the turn. But when NVIDIA continued to rally, that being a market stock, and Apple as well, which goes with the Qs, the market was going to lift and going to rally. So we didn't go long the market, and I don't regret it, and I can't wait to see really what happens this week. We have Netflix out this week. We have Tesla out this week. If those things, which will affect the market, do not continue higher, the market could falter. It's starting to falter a little bit today. It doesn't mean it's not higher tomorrow, though, I'll be honest with you. I mean, this market has really been on a tear in the last three days. And again, if you took advantage of it, you got the move over the high. And let's take a look here at the SPY. So the SPY finally, 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 finally made brand new all-time highs. I said, I don't remember if it was the beginning of this year or the end of last year, where I said the market has to make brand new all-time highs now in all indices in the next 30 days. And it did it. It did it. So it doesn't necessarily mean the market's going to rally all this year. It doesn't mean the market's going to paratrend all this year. It doesn't mean really anything at all other than the fact that the market is still in an uptrend and it could hold the uptrend all year, but we could have a lot of slop and a lot of chop and a lot of volatility, which you may start to see this week in earnings season. What if it continues strong this week? What if we have great performance in Netflix and Tesla? The market could very well continue higher. But again, it doesn't mean that it's not going to break off. We have far too many earnings out in the next couple of weeks that will affect this market. Apple, Google, Amazon, the list goes on and on. The banks were lackluster. I mean, I will say that. The only good earnings performer in the banks was JPM, and it didn't last. Um, we got in and got out as fast as we could, and now it's trying to come back, but it may not make it by the end of this week. So all in all, the banks don't look great. They really, really don't. And again, that's why it's sort of surprising the SPY made a new high. But but it did it. You had all the tech stocks going and the Qs going and Apple as well and the SPY lifted. I would be careful this week and we're probably going to stay away from the market for the foreseeable future because to short this here is way too dangerous considering where it's gone. And yet at the same time, I don't have 100% conviction we're higher here either. So I think it's to just wait and see in the market and focus on selective stocks. And we could have a lot of econ out and other things, like I said, with earnings related that affect this market that could keep it going higher or could break it off. Don't have 100% conviction in any overnight trades here in this market short term. So good luck, everyone. Let's have a great week.